All right, good afternoon, boys, girls, and those who still haven't decided yet. DK here with Mr. V Amps, and how do you make a video out of something that really didn't turn out to be that broken? This is a, one of the Vox Little Night Trains, um, model NT2H, and uh, the gent already had it apart, and he had already uh, changed the tubes in it in an effort to correct an issue where he was not getting um, a diddly squat for output basically um, so I just figured the routine I took the bottom off um, started cleaning on the controls did a quick inspection um, and after just cleaning controls and pots and jacks I plugged it in and it's working good for me so this may have just been an instance maybe maybe the customers got a problem with a guitar cable a speaker cable a speaker I'm not sure but I thought it would be a good opportunity at least to look inside of it and the pots here have a Delta logo on them so I think that's actually the manufacturer uh, the gain pot was a little on the scratchy side um, that obviously would really impede signal getting into the amp if it wasn't clearly passing through the gain pot because that's your first stage and we use some lovely Max Pro product there to clean that up. Um, that's that's working okay now. Um, uh, and then and then you can tell the, the gain pot is actually they have this uh, tape here to keep it from grounding to the chassis which is interesting. They float the ground up here for the uh, for the input jack and, the, and that's kind of neat they tape that off so I so they probably did that to reduce noise this little thing is I guess up to two watts into 16 ohms and I think one and a half watts into eight ohms but it uses all what we would consider preamp tubes there's two 12ax7s and a 12au7 which they use as the power tube um, some people have swapped the 12au for a 12bh7 and said they like the they like that but that would that makes the heater uh, currents a little different and it does increase the draw that works your um, transformer a little harder but uh, everybody who's done it says it's fine um, this has new tubes in it that was one of the things that uh, the gent uh, tried before he brought it to me and uh, this actually has the long plate 12 AU7 JJ which is said to be one of the better choices for these according to the owners club so um, I suppose at this point we you know we can just take a look at it really quick. Um, obviously, all the caps look healthy. I'm not seeing any uh, biffed solder traces. Uh, after cleaning the pots and switches and everything, it it's working okay for me. I'm going to try to flip through everything and see if I can get it to fail and give it a little bit of time. Um, but yeah, it's very simple done on a on a two boards here. There's a secondary output board for the headphone jack and if you're using the headphone jack what it appears to be here if you remove the speaker you have a uh, set of power resistors here that will kind of act as a load um, being just a uh, one to two watt amp this two watt resistor here uh, is probably your load uh, that uh, would you know uh, handle the speaker not being plugged in so it essentially makes its own dummy load. Uh, pretty cool. Two fuses, one for the heaters and one for the mains. Uh, or actually one for the high volt. And then there's a third fuse back there for the power. So, okay, cool. Well, I guess I'll put this back together and we'll give it a little demo test. I think I need to tune this guitar. Yep. Robot tuners can be your friend. That's with more treble, that does bring in more distortion. Makes sense. Bass pot brings in more warmth. 
This is on the bright channel, so you don't get a lot of bass anyway. And then the thick channel will actually erase the tone stack to get more push through it here. Let's just increase our gain and get a little rock and roll tone. It's going to get a lot of document that is working. Um, I'm going to check the headphone jack and let it run for a little while and then we'll talk to the client. Um, like I say, it's very possible that that gain um, pot was goofy or the input or output or speaker jack you know, may have had some schmoo in it that we cleaned out or it's possible that Buddy maybe has a bad cable or something to that effect. But uh, it's going to be an inexpensive visit to the shop. I'm going to test the old tubes that came out of it because he already had popped the new tubes in, so that's what we're running with, a set of JJ's. And uh, we'll see what's going on, but I figured it would be fun to document that that was at least here, um, despite the fact that this doesn't really constitute a major repair video where we go through and find all the little uh, intricacies. Um, this is a lot like those practice solid state amps that I pick up from the pawn shop. Uh, if you clean the controls and switches and things, a lot of times they come right back to life. So, hey, maybe this one had the, uh, you know, this, this one had the old PV in a pawn shop kind of resurrection. Pretty easy to do. Okay, everybody can go ahead and post in the comments that I suck at guitar. That's okay, I understand. Thanks for watching.